Greg had a stroke Saturday, May 1st, 2021. I was home. Uh, Greg was home working on his boat trailer because he was going up north fishing with a bunch of his buddies, and uh, which is very, very common for Greg to do this. And his wife luckily was home and she heard him scream. And that's, that's when we got our phone call and, and we got the equipment that Greg needed. So then he went home and we insurance would pay outpatient. So he went to um, Parkview for the outpatient therapy. And that was, I don't know, maybe till September, and then it ran out. And that's when my decision was made that we had to find something else. Greg's got two sisters, Renee and Jackie. Jackie has been a member at the Y for, for years. And she comes here and does different programs. But she said, Mother, the Y, they work with people like that. I says, well, I don't know. So we went to the Y, and we had a sit down with Ashley. And, uh, and Greg was enthusiastic. And so then he went, then we decided on the Y. Well, his wife thought that was a little, see they, their income was so limited at that time because it was in between disability and all this. Not that Huffmasters didn't help, they helped as much as they could. Um, and so that's when we, Jackie says, well, Mother, they have scholarships. Just apply. So I did. Well, it meant a great deal. His wife said he couldn't, they could not afford any YMCA. And I said, well, I am going to write a letter and ask for some help, which I did. got the help we needed. And then we got Ashley. And she's a, a great person. Very, very nice. And Greg, and it's not like we didn't try other people because so sometimes Ashley had to be gone. And so then we would try other people. Well, we always went back to Ashley. She was the rock. When people experience a stroke, a lot of things change for their for them, for their lifestyle, um, support groups, a lot of different things. So in Greg's case, he had a pretty severe stroke and was very limited. His whole right side was affected, his speech was affected, his right arm and leg. And so uh, when I first met Greg, he was in a wheelchair and his goal was to get back in his fishing boat and to gain his independence. As I've learned and gotten to know Greg, he loves to fish. Uh, that has been his world. So when he had his stroke, you could tell that it was really hard for him not being able to do uh, some of those things he loved about life. And uh, But the great thing is, is he's so determined and is anxious and excited and ready to work hard to be able to get back to the things that he enjoys in life the most. After your stroke, what's hard to do? Everything. Raising the man. It's hard, huh? Yes. Greg was always a fisherman. I'll tell you, I'm his mother, I know. That kid I couldn't keep out of the water. I always would joke around. He spent more time at Sawyer Creek than he did at Oshkosh West. But, uh, yeah, his dad finally decided that he had to park his truck at the school and then he made, then Greg would be there. But Greg always fished. And even when he was in the military, he was stationed in Philadelphia. Well, who would have thought he would have found a place you can really fish? And he, we sent his fishing poles, we mailed them to him. And, uh, and he fished while he lived there. And when he got out of the service, then his um, soon-to-be brother-in-law, they, they went to school together and they always fished. And so they, they were talking and decided to go into tournament fishing, win the big bucks. 
Well, they did. And they did win. My wish and hope for Greg is that he can be completely independent and return back to the thing he loves the most, and that is fishing. And being able to do that on his own and feel comfortable and confident doing that on his own. That's his passion, to get back. And I think I have to be truthful. I, I really think that he realizes he may not get back 100%. But he wants to get back to where he feels comfortable in the boat. So um, that's his goal, is to be able to go fishing. Greg, oh, yeah. when you get back in your boat, what are you going to catch? Why? Walleye. Yeah. Why? Greg, what would you say to others facing challenges? Mm. Mm. Tear. Tear. Keep going. 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 going.